Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali. If you guys aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. I'm making it a goal for myself to vlog a lot in November because I can't do Vlogmas. So I wanted to do some kind of like a daily vlog kind of thing. So I might just like vlog every day but just combine them like i did at the beach let me know what you guys would prefer to see would you prefer to see like shorter daily vlogs or would you rather me combine a couple of days and make it a longer vlog let me know ryan and i got back from the beach last thursday and friday is usually like my content day but i was like unpacking and just like getting the house clean which I didn't even finish cleaning because then it was like Halloween weekend and then on Saturday I was kind of hungover. And then Sunday I was just like lazy to do anything. So today was like my first kind of like content day back at this place. Um, so I got ready after work and just started like filming some TikToks. And I also want to make it a point to be on my Instagram stories a lot this month. Just to like kind of get me into it more. Like I feel like I... I'm kind of bad about it. Like I'll go a few days with like talking on my stories every single day and then I'll just fall off the face of the earth. So I just need to be consistent. So if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It's so underscore gnarly without the G and I'm starting to post a lot of reels, but not really like unique reels. Like I just kind of repost my TikToks, which I know is kind of lazy of me, but also who has the freaking time to create all this content for all these different platforms? I just don't understand. So anyways, I'm trying to beat the sun because next Sunday is daylight savings, which if you guys have watched my vlogs for years, you would know the hatred I have towards this freaking day and season. I love fall. I love like the feeling of fall, but honestly because of daylight savings I feel like I prefer summer because I just love seeing the sun for so much longer But anyways, like I said, I was just filming some TikToks and I wanted to show you guys these jeans that I just got I purchased a couple things on Abercrombie and I purchased this super freaking cute sweater vest that I'm Obsessed with I need to find other ways to style it. Um, I'll put a little video up here of it It's really really cute, but I also got new jeans from them so these are the 90s like relaxed jeans, I'm pretty sure. First of all, I love this color. Um, I got it in a size 31 and I get the short length. I'm 5'3 and I feel like it's perfect for me. There we go, we got a better angle. The sun's kind of ruining it, but whatever. I just wish the bottoms were kind of like that raw hem. Like I love that, but it has like a bit of distressing, but not much. But honestly, these jeans are so freaking comfortable. I thought they were gonna be like more stiff um, like some other Abercrombie jeans I have of theirs, but they are pretty stretchy, honestly. So I was very shocked by that. It's 5.45 and I'm actually meeting up with some college friends later tonight at 7.30. Um, one girl that's, I think they're both actually one year younger than me. I think one just rushed late, but they're actually both Capadeltas from UCF like me. And they just recently both moved here. So I was like, oh my God, let's just all catch up. Let's have dinner somewhere. So we're gonna go to one of my favorites here in Austin, Elizabeth Street Cafe. It's kind of like near South Congress area, or maybe I'm like getting that so wrong. South first, I don't know, but it's such good food. Um, so I'm really excited for that. I'm trying to get back onto my health grind and workout i did 12 3 30 this morning in my arm workout and it was totally fine and tomorrow is my post-op my one month post-op for my breast reduction so if you guys didn't know if you guys are new i just got a breast reduction about a month ago and tomorrow we're gonna go into that appointment i'm not really sure what they're gonna do they're probably just gonna check up on it but honestly, my scars are looking really, really good. Like I looked at them last night and I was like, wait, like if you stand far away and like close like one eye like this, you can barely see it. So, I mean, honestly, I'm just hoping like in one year, like it's gonna be gone. But they did say that if you're like darker skin toned, then scars are more likely to like stay around and like not fade as easy. So love that for me. Interrupting this vlog to talk about today's sponsor, Nay I thought it was about time that I get some new bras since my surgery and my number one priority was comfort because I'm still healing right under here. So I didn't want anything that's like gonna dig into me. I don't really want to wear a bunch of like underwire bras. Um, so I found this one, it is their Barely zero line. It's their curve bra after my surgery. I've been really gravitating towards these longer cropped bras. Their barely zero line 
mine is made from a fabric called cloud fit and it is so freaking comfortable so i definitely found what i was looking for their bras come in multiple other colors so this is the curved bra this is what i'm wearing right now um just in a different color and then they also have that same barely zero line but with spaghetti straps in case you aren't a big fan of the thicker strapped bras there are a couple other bras i got these are the pure comfort triangle bra this style has a little cutout right here and i forgot to mention that they all have like padding in it so it's not just like fabric this is the metallic deep v bra and i'm gonna wait a little bit to wear this just because it has a little bit of underwire but it's pretty flexible as you can see so i feel like it's not gonna feel like there's underwire in it. I also got some underwear from them. This is the Essential High Waist Brief and call me crazy, but I just like to feel secure and safe sometimes. So like I love high-waisted underwear and this is just going to be perfect. And the best thing about Naywa is that it's a one-stop shop. So yes, you can get like all your underwear and bras there, but they also have like cozy clothes. So this is the Essential Ribbed Cami. Hopefully it's focusing so you can see the rib texture. And then I'm actually wearing um, their pajama pants. Okay, their pajama pants and they're so freaking comfortable and they have this really cute button-down um, Pajama shirt to match my bottoms when I unboxed my package when I first got it My first impression was that the packaging was so aesthetic and the barely zero line the packaging is made from 100% recycled materials, which is awesome If you guys are interested in checking Naewa out I'll have all the links down below for everything I mentioned and you can get 20% off when you use the code Sonali by now I probably posted my big Amazon haul. I got these really cool Cool salt and pepper shakers basically you fill the bottom with like the solid like Himalayan salt or like this pepper I don't know if you can see it but it's balls of pepper and it grinds it for you and it has a light so I'm gonna show you guys because I think it is like the coolest thing in the world I already filled up the salt but the one thing about this is that you need batteries and you need double or triple-a batteries and you need six of them so like one pack that I had was only enough for the freaking salt thing so we had to get more batteries today but that was fine because i wanted to get this pepper and we couldn't find like big sizes of pepper so we got just two of these um but this is gonna be so cool and also a game changer because i feel like pepper shakers are always the worst like they never come out fast enough i usually like a lot of pepper in my food so it's just frustrating when it doesn't come out but okay batteries are in I saw this in a restaurant and I immediately thought like to look on Amazon and honestly I feel like that's my whole life like even if I'm in a store I kind of want to just always check the price on Amazon to see if it's like any cheaper. This part lights up and you don't press anything you just like flip it over. Show you the salt one because it works. Okay. See? It's awesome. I freaking love it. But anyways, I think I'm gonna ask Ryan to help me with this one because I was struggling, honestly. Might be these batteries. Just got to the restaurant, freaking starving. Let's eat. Okay, we got our food. We're at Elizabeth Street Cafe and I'm with my girls. This is Diane and this is Tiffany. And I'm so excited they're in Austin. She wanted us to have a good time. I wasn't one to believe in ghosts, but I fully believe she was some kind It's Tuesday and today is my one month post-op for my breast reduction. So I just got to Westlake Dermatology. I'm about to go in and get everything checked out. Um, a little update, a kind of random weird update. There's one little stitch that hasn't dissolved or like come out. So I'm gonna ask you about that. And then this boob kind of hurts a lot. I don't know why. The nurse is just in here and she said for six weeks, my scars look really, really good. So I'm so happy about it. Um, but I did tell her about like the pain in here and she said something about like a nerve healing. So that could be what it is, but I'm also gonna ask him about it. And then there's also that stitch. So they might have to remove it, <laughs> which I don't really want them to, but I don't know. It's been here for a while. All right, we're with Dr. Shikio. Hello, I'm gonna follow up now. This is how far out I've been, it's about, six about six weeks. And you've been healing quite well. Yeah. Any, any particular comments? Yeah, this one hurts kind of, it's weird. Like um, she said, it was like something about nerves, but okay. also like a few weeks ago, I was feeling like zapping, like sharp pains, like okay. electrical shocks, I don't even know. And then there's like a stitch still here. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, you look amazing, Yay. you look great. Yay. Small suture right there. Which yeah. Sometimes happens. Sometimes sutures will work their way up. Yeah. Um, through the skin. What is that? A stitch or what? It's a suture exactly. Oh, so okay. um, there's stitches underneath your incisions right now everywhere, and your body's breaking them down as we speak. Yeah. 
sometimes rarely a switcher will work its way up and uh, it's a matter of just kind of grabbing it and trimming it or pulling it out. Uh, so that's fine. Okay. The pains you're feeling, yeah. the exact pains you're feeling, um, are just your nerves yeah. regenerating. So okay. it's very, very common after surgery. Okay. That's it. Yay. So it's basically a crumbling suture. Your body's already done most of that work to break it up. Yeah. So it's almost like kind of fuzzy, but it's oh, a suture which is not firm to you. I thought it was a lot bigger. Like, so no, it's it looks tiny. Man, just keep enjoying them, you know? I think, I think you look fantastic, you look yeah. awesome, very happy for you. Uh, the impact after breast reduction is always, almost always huge for our patients, and yeah. now he's kind of living that uh, right know. now, so. Did you see the before and after pictures? I, I, I did, I did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not ready for the day, and I've just been like sitting here, trying to think of all the shit that I have to do, and I'm just an ongoing to-do list of stuff that I have to complete, like just brand stuff and like just personal stuff, my birthday party to-do list and all that stuff. I'm just trying to get my life a little bit more organized because it's honestly kind of in shambles right now. Like it doesn't really feel horrible, but I know I could be doing better and I know I could be like way more organized. My post-op went really well and after I turned off the camera, they actually gave me a like cortisol, cortisone, probably not cortisone, but something like that shot because he was saying that the drainage scars were like raised and like had hyperpigmentation. So they were just like darker than the like, you know, uh, breast reduction scars. So he just like injected a little bit on both sides of the drainage scars. So hopefully that helps. He just said those would like stay a while if I didn't do that. So I was like, um, let's do it because I need these scars to like vanish. But my before and after is crazy. We took um, an after shot, like just of the front and it is insane. Like I obviously wanted it for aesthetics because I just felt as though, sorry TMI, but the gals were hanging low and I really wanted the lift and that was what I was most excited for. And it just looks amazing. I really want to post the before and afters, but that would be very TMI. Like that would just, I don't know. And I know you guys want to see them too, but I still have to do that one video. I filmed like before, like in tops and everything. And I still have to film the after. So that is coming. And it's another thing that I have to put on my to-do list. If I don't write it down like right away, I will forget it like in the next minute. It is horrible. I did go by Goodwill because I had some stuff to get rid of and I actually kept a bag of clothes that like could possibly be sold on like Poshmark or whatever. So I need you guys to let me know if you guys would be interested if I put my clothes for sale somewhere um, and like what app do you guys use because I feel like the only app I have is Poshmark but I know like Depop is a thing now so let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Otherwise, I'll probably just like sell it at Plato's Closet nearby or Uptown Cheapskate. I feel like they give me good money. Not amazing money, but I'll take what I can get around here. I'm starving and I've really only eaten like a yogurt cup today. This is one of my favorite things to buy at HEB. These are spring rolls and I always buy three at a time or like two and I'll eat them for lunches because the peanut sauce is so good, but um, I just feel like they're pretty healthy. I actually worked with HEB on a TikTok for their beauty sale, and I'm so excited because they reached back out to do another campaign for the holidays, and I feel like that is so cool. Like, I'm working with freaking HEB. If you guys are in Texas, you would know how awesome that is because I feel like in Florida, I was just talking to my Florida friends last night. Also, that was so amazing just talking to them and like, it's it's crazy when you have like a bond especially like college bonds and like college stories sorority stories they're just so nice catching up and like hearing how everything was because um one of them was one year younger and i literally lost my train of thought because my brain is just in shambles but i'm gonna eat these and continue to work on my to-do list when we went to HEB yesterday, I saw these and I had to get them. These are like my childhood. I remember these so vividly. They're delicious. I already had one and I cut up an apple yesterday, but I didn't eat all of it. So I'm going to have a little snack. Honeycrisp apples are like the only apples I eat because they're just, they're elite.
I just got done at a shoot and now I'm headed to pick up the cupcake samples or the cake samples, but I think they're gonna be cupcakes if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'm really excited because first of all, cupcakes are delicious. Second of all, I'm like starving because it is dinner time and I have no idea what I'm doing for dinner. All right, just got them. And I'm kind of curious to see what they look like. So let's open them up. Aw, oh, damn, she taped it. <laughs> Guess we'll have to wait. And cupcakes are dead. No, I'm kidding, but they look lovely. And I tasted some icing, and it tastes really good. But I have to eat dinner first. World Series is on, and now we're going to taste test some cupcakes. We'll update you guys on which one we like the best. Brian definitely had different opinions than me. Um, but I think I'm going to do the red velvet. I knew I was going to, but I just like wanted to try them out first. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and don't forget to check out Naywise Barely Zero Line. I'll have more information in the description box. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.